Hi guys, it's Sandy, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a nail art design based on my all-time favorite book series, Harry Potter. If you're a fan too, then give this video a big thumbs up. To begin, start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. This will magically help adhere the nail polish onto your nails so your nails don't chip like a muggle's. Next, you will need a white nail polish. Paint your ring, middle, and index finger with two thin coats each and give it a couple minutes to dry. For the thumb and pinky nails, paint them yellow. Again, two coats for best opacity. Then I'm going to apply a top coat over these nails because we're going to be using striping tape on them later. For the golden snitch, I thought it would be really cute to use a gold stud. So place a little nail glue on the nail where you want to place the round gold stud, and then press it into the glue and hold it there securely for a few seconds for the glue to set. Next is the snitch's wings. For this, I'm using a black striper and drawing two thin curved lines coming out from the stud. Then just lightly add in little strokes coming out from the lines to finish the wings. In preparation for the new Harry Potter and the Cursed Child book that's coming out this summer, I've been listening to the Harry Potter book series on Audible. It's awesome because I can listen to a book being read to me while I'm doing other activities, such as painting my nails. If you've never tried Audible before, you can visit audible.com slash cutepolish for a free 30-day trial. They have over 180,000 downloadable books. So if you'd like to download a book for free to try it out, then just go to audible.com slash cutepolish or check for the link in the description box. For the middle nail, I'm starting off by drawing a lightning bolt. First I just did a little sketch for placement, and now I'm thickening up the lines to make them stand out more. Then I'm using a big dotting tool and black polish to create two big dots for glasses. Connect the two black dots together with a line, and then add two big white dots over the black ones to complete the glasses. On the index finger, we're going to be doing the sign of the Deathly Hollows. Begin by drawing a triangle for the invisibility cloak, a line down the middle for the Elder Wand, and finally a circle for the Resurrection Stone. Now you're invincible. <laughs> for the pinky and thumb, I'm using striping tape to help me create stripes inspired by the House of Gryffindor. If you were in one of the houses at Hogwarts, which one do you think that the Sorting Hat would place you in? Let me know down in the comments. Finish off your magical new manicure with a fast drying top coat. This will seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. If you'd like to see more nail designs, then hit that subscribe button below. We upload new nail art designs here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'd love to see your recreations of this design, so please tag me on social media so I can see it. Take care, and I'll see you next time!